Okay, we're gonna talk about just making sure we're getting our chopper in the correct gear for what the crop we're harvesting. So we're gonna run this chopper in the low side, which we would be in the low side right now. The drive is the bigger one. So for corn, you're gonna run low with the knives, dis the counter knives disengaged. So then in soybeans, wheat, anything else we're gonna run, we're gonna put this in the high side, the belt's gonna switch top and bottom, come over here and then you can engage. It has to be in high to engage your counter knives. Another thing we're gonna look at is probably the leading cause of these bushings that we've, we have issues with these bushings is when we're putting these in new, you gotta make sure you're in the center of the stroke for the sieves when you're tightening these bolts up and on these bushings. If we're not in the center, it's twisting farther one way than it is the other as it's moving and ripping the rubber out of those bushings. So that is a very crucial, is making sure you're in the center when you're tightening all that stuff. Okay, we're gonna talk about the spreaders on the Legacy and Midrange with the gear drive setup. So on these gears, the biggest thing for wear and everything on those is not having these gears adjusted correctly. You want even engagement from both gears on there. So if you have to adjust them either way, you can put washers in here to space it out, up and down, same way with this one. Same way with this shaft, with these bearings, all these bearings with this material build up like it is right here. Having that material build up as those bearings get older, get, get worn, get building heat, we could run into uh, fire there fire hazard right there so keeping them clean but the biggest thing is making sure we're adjusting these because as they get out of adjustment they start wearing abnormally or quicker and we're that, that's where we want to want to keep them adjusted too